Hey guys, Jimbo Urban here, and tell me doing is pretty much showing you guys how to install any single mod in Minecraft uh, for pretty much 1.8, uh, 1.7.10, and pretty much any single version in Minecraft. Uh, so pretty much to start off, guys, what you want to do is you want to go to run. Uh, you want to type in percent app data percent. You want to go here, and what you want to do is pretty much click on uh, dot Minecraft. Uh, for people who have a ton of saves, uh, what you want to pretty much do is pretty much save uh, all the stuff for just your saves, just in case something goes wrong. But the chances are it won't go wrong. After you're done doing that, uh, what you pretty much have to do is just close this, open your Minecraft. Uh, when you're pretty much in your Minecraft, what you want to do is pretty much create a new folder. Uh, this can pretty much be the folder that you want to use uh, for your thing. I'm going to be using Minecraft version uh, pretty much release 1.8. Whatever version you do, you pretty much just go ahead and click it on there. Uh, so after you pretty much click there, call it whatever you want. I'm pretty much going to go ahead and call it uh, pretty much... Uh... Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and two and a half for you is pretty much a tutorial on how to install any single mod uh, in Minecraft, uh, this works for any single version, if it's Minecraft 1.8.1+, plus, or Minecraft version 1.7, or 1.6.4, whatever version you want to do, uh, but pretty much what you first want to do is pretty much search on your computer for run, after you pretty much find one, what you want to search is, uh, pretty much, like, open and run, is you want to open percent app data percent, you want to press OK, you want to go into your dot Minecraft, uh, then what you want to do is pretty much just uh, go into your saves. If you have a lot of worlds or you have like important stuff on your Minecraft, I would recommend making pretty much another folder just to save it. But usually it doesn't glitch. Uh, it's like a really low chance of glitching. I've been using it for a very long time and it hasn't glitched once for me. So I doubt it will glitch for you. Uh, but I just wanted to put that out there just in case. Um, so yeah, after you have that done, you don't have to have it done, of course. But what you want to pretty much do is go into your Minecraft, run that really quickly. Uh, and what you want to pretty much do is create a new folder. Uh, this folder is pretty much going to be whatever version you're using. Uh, so I'm using Minecraft version uh, 1.8, but if you want to pretty much use any version, uh, like any version you want to use here, uh, if it's 1.7.2, you can use that version. But I'll just go in and use Minecraft version 1.8. Uh, and then what you want to name it is you preferably want to name it what you're naming pretty much your uh, version just so you could come across it better but if you only have like two uh, like one and then this one's gonna be the second one you don't really need to name it really anything but of course you don't want to name it the exact same uh, profile name that you selected for your account or whatever just whatever profile name so I'm just gonna name it um, uh, 1.8 uh, then after that what you want to do is save it uh, go into it uh, just press play really quickly after you press play just let it load really quickly uh, after it's pretty much done loading uh, what you simply got to do is just press exit, uh, so like quit the game, and then you're pretty much done there. But now what, what you pretty much want to do now is go on this link here, which I'll have a link to that in the description. Uh, and pretty much uh, all you have to do is go to the version that you selected. So if you're in 1.7.2, 1.7, whatever version here that you selected or whatever, uh, you just go into that. So I'll just go into 1.8. Uh, and this pretty much works for the versions. Um, so say you have one Minecraft, uh, one dot, I, I forget the version, but say like, it, I forget which one is in between here. Uh, but actually I'll just do example here. Uh, so if you want to have one Minecraft 1.8.3, this works 1.8. It's just, it's just like, uh, one for 1.8 because they're all relatively similar. They only really do, uh, extra versions if there's big updates in between and stuff like that. Because there's really no point because it's relatively the same. Uh, so yeah, once you're in here, all you have to do is go to pretty much install. You could do recommended or latest. It doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and do recommended. So you install it. Sometimes it may do like this small problem over here. All you have to do is pretty much just go to another one like this. Uh, you just go to either one. They both do the exact same thing. Uh, but you may have to go back and forth a few times uh, because it may not show up here like, uh, wait, six seconds. They may not show that. So just continue going back and forth until it does show that. Then what you want to pretty much do uh, is press skip. It will send you this little forge thing over here. Uh, just to make to confirm your version, I'll say right here like Minecraft 1.8. So you know it's pretty much the right version. Uh, just go ahead and make your uh, pretty much thing a little, uh, 
like small or whatever. Uh, and then uh, pretty much just bring this over here, pl place it over here. Uh, and then after that, just go ahead and delete this uh, because you don't need it. After that, what you pretty much want to do is double tap this, uh, open it. Uh, after you open it, pretty much you want to install the client. Uh, after you install the client, it will say successfully installed client profile forge for uh, version forge da 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 into uh, launcher. So you just want to press OK. Then what you want to do is go back to run. Um, pretty much do the exact same thing again. It may pop up this. Uh, the program might have not been installed correctly. Uh, what you pretty much want to do after that is really quickly check into your versions. Oh, I have this perfectly, so this program is installed correctly. Just make sure to check if that's there or not. Uh, if it's not there, then just pretty much redo it again uh, until it does show up there. Uh, after you're done with that, pr pretty much just close that. Go ahead and delete this. Uh, I have no clue what install. I'm just going to delete that too. Uh, that may pop out. I don't believe it should pop out. But yeah, after that, come uh, pretty much... Uh, after you delete that, just open up your Minecraft. When you do, there should be something called Forge. Click that, it should say Play Minecraft Forge. What you want to do after that is just go to Profile Editor. And what you want to do is pretty much delete the 1.8 version because you don't need it anymore. Uh, then just go back here, go to your Forge, play your Forge. Uh, just make sure, just load it up really quickly. Uh, and then after that, what you, I'm going to pretty much show you is pretty much just doing it now uh, with adding mod, uh, pretty much mods and stuff like that into uh pretty much uh forge and everything like that so yeah you have you have it ready i have three mods loaded already because i have a few pretty much mobs just make sure it's loaded and it's working perfectly go ahead and close it uh then go to run uh again uh or what you can do is just simply leave this folder here pretty much in the dot minecraft i keep on forgetting to minimize it but that's all right uh go to your mods i have these three mods here doesn't matter you don't have to have them if you don't have them don't freak out it's not a big deal. Uh, what you want to do is pretty much go and download any single possible mod. Uh, so uh, pretty much there'll be a link uh, which I'll go to really quickly. Uh, well, I don't I don't have the link exactly here, but pretty much uh, example if you have some sort of mod here, uh, pretty much you go ahead and just grab whatever mod. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll pretty much use the lucky blocks mod over here. Just pretty much throw into here. Make sure it's a jar file. Uh, then after you're done that, just close it. Uh, and then run your Minecraft again. Uh, and then all you have to do is pretty much play. Uh, and if it does glitch, it means pretty much the mod uh, is not c compatible with your version of Minecraft or whatever. Uh, just make sure to download the right mod. But it's working perfect for me because it's in the right version. Uh, which is good. So yeah, just let it load. After it's done loading, go to single player, uh, create any world you want to pretty much use or go into a pre-existing world. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, you'll have all your stuff here. It's just an example. I grabbed these so I wouldn't have to really grab them. Uh, but I'll just grab them again for you guys. But you see how they're pretty much working and they're all good and everything like that. Uh, it's working perfectly. Also, if you want to go in between mods, so say you have worlds that have lucky blocks or some kind of mod in them in worlds that don't just make sure to pretty much not go on uh pretty much the uh, the world with the mod uh well you're not playing with the mod on it or it may glitch a bit so just remember to do a few saves of your worlds like have backups and stuff like that because the mods uh could change and stuff like that so uh be careful about that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video guys if you did enjoy this video uh, be sure to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to the Jimbo Oven Craft Network for 70% of share, guys. But that's going to be it, guys. This has been Jimbo Oven, and I'll see you guys later.